yeah hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is Lawrence Ifani all right in this video I I want to quickly show you how to make payment using your top pass okay how to complete payment using your top pass the fund in your top pass account it's just the same way you pay with the balance in your Alipay okay so in this video I'm going to be demonstrating how you can achieve that I'm doing this video because of a lot of DMs I get. I get messages from people asking how to pay with top pass and all that. What happens is, as soon as you fund your top pass with your local bank card, okay, after adding your bank card and then topping it up, topping the amount you want, be it 100 RMB, 200, 500, any one, any amount you have been able to top up, you are ready to make payment, okay? since your alipay is ready okay so what you need to do is just head over to your 68 it app your 68 it app or you are um or through your chrome browser okay and then add the products is either you add it to cart and from there you complete the payment or you move it to pending payment like in this video the product i want to use to demonstrate this is already in the pending payment so we are going to move from there now before i dive into the video proper in case you're just coming across my channel for the first time i'm lawrence if i by name i do entrepreneurship videos and how to make money online as it regards to e-commerce affiliate marketing freelancing with digital skills so if you're interested in getting this kind of content advice you click on the red subscribe button turn on the notification bell so you always um, get notified each time i drop a new video now we'll move on to um show you um step by step how you can be able to achieve uh, this payment process so in this case on your um 16 app like i'm using 16 to show to demonstrate this you rightly need to click where you have um the human icon here down the right below where i just uh, circled right now you click on it we are moving to get the product in the pending payment so you click there it's going to load into um, a page like this now on this page okay what you need to do is um what you need to do here is click on you see where you have to here okay that is orders that are meant to be paid for the second one here is orders that have been paid for and are yet to be shipped whereas this third one is orders that have been shipped already and then here are orders that have been shipped and it has been received okay so in this case we have two products in the pending payment that's orders that are yet to be paid for that's here okay in the pending payment that's here so we're going to click there to choose the product so i'll click on the pending payment it takes me to the page where those products you know appears we allow it to load now as you can see the product is uh, fully loaded i can decide to choose we we'll have two products here i can decide to choose one and pay or i'll choose the two of them and try to make payments at the same time so in this case i want to pay for the two so if i want to pay for the two look at um here if you want to pay singly one by one you just need to click on this yellow button okay it will take you to it you start um following the process of completing the payment okay but in this case i just want to um complete the two payments at the same time so since i want to do that i'll click where you have this small white icon i'm going to check on that particular button and also here is the second one for the second product i'll also check on it okay and then it will it's going to show me a button for submitting the order so now i'll do that i'll check on that button you can see it has turned from white to orange with an um with with something marked inside of it so i'll scroll up again and then choose um click on this also to check it also i'll click on it to check then as soon as i'm done with it i'll click here 
this is for order submission okay i'll click here it now takes me to and you know that already this product why it is in the pending payment is because i tried completing the payment but did not finally complete it so in this case the address already has been selected the address to be used to uh, uh, where the supplier is supposed to send this product to has been selected already okay that is why it didn't show us where to select address it will give you room to select address when you first added the product to your cart then before moving it to pending payment or before paying directly okay so in this case we moved it to cart and then sent to pending payment so it was in the pending payment just trying to complete this payment okay so that was why it didn't show the address so in this case it takes me to this page it has now calculated the total amount i meant to pay for this order that's what you're saying now by default this is alipay that we are making use of so what you need to do is click on this orange button okay this orange button here click on it it takes you to where you're going to make your selection either to pay with store pass or pay with alipay now you can see on this page now okay you can see on this page on the payment page this is um, showing the account i'm using to pay and this is showing the card or the account you're paying for now when you um activate your toppers mind you you are giving a virtual debit card by by bank of shanghai okay so that's what it is showing here what you are seeing here is the back is the card details the top pass card details that's what you're showing here let me see if i can translate and then show you okay now let me try to translate so if you move here you can see it is saying payment method you can see it is saying payment if you move here you can see it is saying payment method and then here is the alipay account okay so on this payment method this is shanghai bank savings card you can see okay this is shanghai bank debit card that is your top pass debit card information you are using to make this payment now here you have the opportunity to choose either to pay with this or to pay with your alipay balance okay so if you have fund like in this account now if you already have fund in your top pass account with this card showing here you only need to click on this blue button and then enter your payment password and the money will be deducted from your top pass and your your payment will be completed okay so in this case i think the fund in the um top pass is not complete to make this payment but i already have fund in the alipay so i'm going to use the alipay to complete it it's the same thing what you just need to do is to ensure or to know the actual payment method or the card that is being debited here so if at this point you um that this card the bank of shanghai is showing here that means it is top pass that you will be debited from okay you are paying from top pass if it is not um this card this bank of shanghai card that is showing that means it's not top pass it is your balance or chinese bank card if you have linked back chinese bank card okay but here what we are strictly talking about is alipay and top pass so here now if you don't have fund in your top pass and you have fund in your alipay like in this case now so the only thing i need to do is to click you see a small arrow here beside this you see a small arrow i just need to click on it to choose the payment pay, uh, payment method i want to use so i'll click on it it's going to load you can see now so in this case now you can see in the alipay itself you can see the alipay and you can see the top pass okay the top pass is ticked that is selected so i now have room to choose 
since there is no fund that can be able to complete this amount of payment using the top pass in this case i now have to choose the alipay that's the second one so in this case i'm going to choose to pay from my alipay balance okay so in this case i'm going to click here the alipay is now going to load now when you look at this remember it was bank of shanghai that was here before this time around it is no longer bank of shanghai rather alipay balance let me translate so you see so you can see account balance as the main alipay balance so in this case i can now complete the payment using the alipay balance so if there is fund if there was fund to be able to complete this payment i'm going to i was going to use um the top as and complete the payment is the same thing so what you just need here is just to choose switch between accounts you are meant to use to complete the payment so in this case i'll try to complete the payment by clicking here okay now on this page it will now request me to enter my payment password which i'm going to enter here if i enter it is going to complete the payment so i'll pause this video and enter the payment password on completion this payment will be uh, completed successfully okay so now i'm going to enter the last digit of the payment password and this payment will be completed successfully So it's completing, it's processing it now. You can see the payment has been completed successfully. While I translate here, you can see a total of two orders for Alipay. That's what is paid for. See, bulk payment. Okay, you watch here. It says successful payment. Okay, successful payment. You can see, which means this payment has been completed successfully. Okay, now you can click here to go back to the home page. Um, return to home page or to go back to where you can continue paying for goods so in this case i'll click here to return to the main page you can see okay so this is how you pay using your toppers or alipay how you switch between these accounts and be able to successfully complete your payment if you found value from this video please make sure you click on the like button also subscribe if you're just coming across my channel for the first time thank you for watching come back for more videos bye